What is up, guys? The real Damon Jackson here. And uh, today, I have my stripped down Geiger counter, GMC 320P, again. And uh, I'm going to be looking at. Uh, see, my normal room background is 10 or 9 or lower. But uh, we're going to be looking at some potassium nitrate. And I have a sneaky feeling that it's going to be radioactive. Because. As you saw in the previous video, potassium chloride was radioactive. It got to about 65 counts per minute, which is a lot for... That's that's over background. That's over... What's the maximum background? It's 50. To be considered background, it has to be 50 or less. But it was up in the 60s. So I'm going to be testing... Uh, this nitrate, also known as saltpeter. The 67's from earlier. Okay, so it's 40. 41. Holy crap, it's climbing. Holy crap. Okay, so it looks like it's not changing very much. It's about 50, 49... Um, well, it is radioactive, though, because, obviously, it was just, like, 12 a minute ago. So, potassium nitrate, in conclusion, does contain potassium-40, which emits beta, which I could detect. So, oh, it's in the, okay, it's a little bit higher now. But, yeah, it looks like, looks like saltpeter is radioactive as well. So, all you radiophobes, I'm sorry. If you have stump remover around your house, you are getting radiation and you will die of cancer immediately. I'm joking, of course. I mean, there's people that think that, but it's completely fine. So there's chloride, which you eat, and there's stuff that you remove your stumps with, and plants that you don't like. So there you have it. Um, I guess a lot of potassium compounds contain potassium-40. Watch, like, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.